Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, live and in color from Oliver Lee State Park in New Mexico on a Monday morning, May 6, 2019. I was planning on moving today, but I'm not because I noticed that my sunglasses, the lenses are all scratched up, so I've ordered some more from Walmart Vision Center in Alamogordo, and they won't be in for a few days, so I'll just sit here and wait patiently twiddle my thumb until they come in so that's that and, and that's one of the things I like about not making reservations is I can do stuff like that because if I had reservations somewhere else that I've got to go 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 then I'd have to go 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 and not get my glasses fixed so having said that what else can I tell you this is the day after yesterday the day before tomorrow and it's a very nice day it's typically clear as usual <laughs> I mean but it's going to be a little warm today and then cool down tomorrow and for the next several days temperature is going to drop a little bit because they got a little rain coming believe it or not out here in the desert they don't get much of that but having said that uh what else can i tell you uh hey google what's the temperature in bangor maine in bangor it's currently 56. very good men ladies hey google what's the temperature in butte montana in Butte, it's currently 34. That is above freezing, guys. Y'all won't know how to act. High today is supposed to be 59. Can you imagine that in Butte, Montana? Hello, Butte. But be that as it may, what else? Hey, Google, tell us a joke. What kind of music do bunnies like best? Hip hop. Mm, a little weak. Anyway, hey, Google. Uh, no, sorry. Skip. Nothing's playing right now. She's in the loop. Anyway, this is Trenton Clump right here. This is an it. This is a bumper sticker that says native Texan. It does now. It has a jalapeno in it. This is olive oil from the old Popeye cartoons. That's a travel trailer that's facing downhill, <laughs> I guess. Somebody sent me that. And uh, these are organic bananas. Those are organic bananas. And that is a Jetpack 7730L from Verizon. That's how I get my internet. I have the unlimited prepaid data plan. And that is Olive Oil's bra. And that is an Dry dehumidifier that helps a little bit in this 84 square feet of living area in my 2019 Casita fiberglass travel trailer that I live in full time. This is my only home. And I like it. Everything is okay so far. But as you know, as things get older, they start to wear out. <laughs> Me included. Okay, Peggy Parker says, Seem like a nice lady. Most Peggy's are. I'm amazed how many people like this travel alone. Yeah, she's out there. She's a retired teacher, I believe. Yep. This is uh, Corey Mondello, Mondillo, I guess. Remember, you have olive oil, Rusty. I do. I my dream lady right there, old bones. <laughs> that looks like a dress with bones in it. Anyway, what else can I say? Ken Carey says, love it. That's on the Prius stuff. For you new subscribers, I have been full-time RVing for about 25 years or so. And at one time, I owned a Toyota Prius, and I went camping off and on for five years in my Toyota Prius. And sometimes I'd be gone for a month or so. And that's what this person is talking about, Ken Carey. Thank you, Ken. James J. LaRue, V-Y-M-E-R-O-N, that's an RV, Vermeiren, I guess, or Vermeiren, is made by Microlite. Looks like they still are still available according to the website. Looks like they offer a toy hauler style on the back. It could be handy if you need it. Anyway, James LaRue, left a link to microlighttrailer.com and it's the name of her that lady of uh, Peggy's RV was V Y M E R O N Vimeron Vimeron something like that interesting name thank you James Bar Barbara Mitchell nice to see you well nice to see you <laughs> can't already see you out there uh John Gertbach wonderful little adobe Cozy and a likable woman. All the best to her. You bet. I'm at Oof, Oof, Oof. Good video. Thank you. 
Carson Price, what an interesting interview. I think the tin design on the pantry doors is wonderful. We'll see there. This is Vince Demo. We'll make sure I don't look at Forest River when I buy. We'll tell my friends about this. Well, you know, <clears throat> you know, it's like winning the lottery, folks. If you get an RV that really works, everything works for a long period of time, you, you did well. Is that going to happen to everybody? No. <laughs> the Rock. Yay, New Hampshire. Live free or die. You got it. Same person. Great and well needed to hear your closing words. Negative Ned is the ba is a bad man. Thank you. Yep. Stand guard at the door of your mind, guys. Chris, this is Kristen Krebs. Very cute on Peggy's deal. Peggy got a lot of comments. Pure butterfly spirit. I lived, I'm not sure where I was here, driving around somewhere. Uh, I lived there for several months, thought about buying there. Town is beautiful, but it's not a friendly town of people at all. Well, you know, sometimes it's uh, not, not necessarily the people. It's, you know who? Ron Bailey, you southern, your southern manners lend themselves well to interviews. Well, it's I, I, that's the way I grew up. Mark Locklear, Peggy is terrific, lo lovely lady. Excellent interview, sir. Prost, prost to you, Mark. Uh, Scott Baker, good video. Traveling with Rick. Uh, this is on the classic teardrop. I wonder what the inside is used for. Whew. Sharp. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this person's name is Yep Me. And this is on Peggy's uh, deal. When, when was the last year they made that? I tried to Google that trailer. You need to check the comments and you'll find a link to something. <clears throat> Emma3010. Very nice. Thanks for the tour. You're welcome. Charlotte Herring, love this small travel trailer. Perfect size for solo ladies. You did a very sweet interview, Rusty. Thank you, Charlotte. Lee Verrill, V-E-R-R-I-L-L. -L. I love it when you guys interview other campers. Very cool. Yeah, well, I won't be doing that all the time. It just so happens that I'm going to be here for a few days and somebody will stand still. I'll talk to them. Uh, this is Hope for Christ. Thank you for this. You're very welcome. Lizard me, what a sweet lady, and her dog too. Yes, yeah, she was, and the dog was very like the dog. <clears throat> Lee Varel again, another good video. Interesting, folks. I like that camper. We've got a 16-foot wolf pup by Forest River. It works, but not sure I'd pull in the outback. Thanks, Rusty. We love to see what others are doing. Yeah, that's why I do it. Jeff Foster, good interview. Thank you. Joel Brown, I guess it was assembled on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> or Monday after the Super Bowl. Uh, Allen's Best, uh, Rockwood. Uh, I have the same unit, 22 BH, BH, and love it. Had it for two years now. Did tons of mods. It's so comfortable. Bigger trailers are nice, but once you organize the Rockwood, it has plenty of room for two people. I went to the last RTR out in Quartzsite, and it handled the dirt and rock roads just fine. Can't say enough of how nice these campers are. Well, I'm glad you like your Rockwood. Couch Potato Kennedy, very enjoyable segment, Rusty, and really nice lady. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, this is George Fidelsky. Can't hear the owner. Well, turn the volume up. I don't know. I may not have been holding the mic out. Hey, uh, George, I don't do perfect videos. I just want to tell you that. I make a lot of mistakes. <clears throat> this person's name is Carrie Mace. When you leave, well, I'm not sure yet. This is Alice Hollum. Did you hear the location? But I believe that Cavallo Park is in New Mexico. Big thumbs up. Did not hear the location. Yeah, Cavallo State Park is in New Mexico. It's about 100 miles from here. Carrie Mace, very handy. The campfire. Boy, that was a great video, wasn't it? 40 seconds. <laughs> I was so surprised I got it to go that I, I, I was excited. Yeah, I had me a hot dog. Actually, I had me a chili dog last night because I had some, some of Amy's chili. It's organic chili stuff. It's really good, too. It's called Amy's. It comes in a can. It's good stuff. Calvin Wright, Attaboy Rusty. It's downright amazing what us geezers are capable of after our beer 30s. <laughs> Enjoy me. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, I was I was shocked at the campfire work because all I did, I just wadded up some newspaper about the size of my fist and put it in there and then covered it with little bitty sticks and then little bigger sticks and little bigger sticks and little bigger sticks. And, bigger sticks. and then I got the paper burning and then you blow on it. When you blow on it, it's like a, I don't know what you call it, but it really heats up. 
anyway it lit i was surprised uh gary goldsmith that's going viral on the campfire james stratford uh, yeah it did sure <laughs> she got 200 views or whatever uh that is a great teardrop build it's very classy by a talented craftsman yeah he did a good job there sue d amazing time rusty yeah that was uh peggy this is on the campfire gill resources i'll be right over bringing stuff for s'mores yeah i tried to make those one time turned out to be a mess <clears throat> uh sky king i thought you were a healthy eater well i am but not 100 percent of the time i eat what the hell i want to eat you know i mean i try to eat healthy most of the time but i mean i had bought those wieners when i was out in uh, uh where was i uh oh pancho Villa state park and uh, i bought those because there was nothing around to eat <laughs> uh, rt enjoyed this very much uh, Mike Brandenburg, the campfire, maybe invite that nice lady you interviewed over for an Oscar Mayer wiener and a beer. Yeah, right. Uh, John B., roasting wieners with Rusty. Yeah, that's a big video, isn't it? <clears throat> Cinnamon Girl, what a sweet lady and doggy I am thinking about getting a New Mexico State Park thanks to all your videos. Well, let me warn you up front, you know, you, it's going to be a struggle to find a campsite sometimes because that, that a lot of people figure that out. Jeff Henry, Chef Boy R D, Rusty, makes Davy Crockett jealous. <laughs> yeah, right. This is Peggy. Again, this is Rhonda Waldron. OMG, they still make these. It's listed under products. Yeah, okay, you go to eight you go to www.microlighttrailer.com and you'll find the one that Peggy had. How about that? W it's uh, microlighttrailer.com. Do that. This is Rebecca O. Oh, got a long comment. I'll read a sentence or two. This is on the people that had a little problem with their Forest River product. Uh, she says, wonder how this story will end. I've heard more than one story on YouTube of a frame breaking on a trailer. One person was on a residential street, so going slow. Uh, well, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of issues, but they don't have any real quality control. This is Clap Out Loud 66. Nice interview. I like her small rig. What would be even better if this were part of a truck RV assembly? Then no car needed. Uh, actually, a car comes in handy for running little errands. This is on the campfire. Scotty Thompson. Cool video talk, Rusty. Thank you. Uh, living in an RV. I did that a long time ago. This is MCSE 9073 Rue. He says, that was my best video. Well, all of them are my best because I'm doing my best. <laughs> this is on the campfire. John Sparkman, for your information, Rusty, hand sanitizer makes a great fire starter. You can thank me later. Uh, actually, I'd rather start it without it. You know what I mean? I don't like to use anything uh, artificial because it usually adds a, a scent or a flavor to the food. Uh, y Yusuf Alabama, classic camping grub, roasted weenies, enjoy a, with a coal and Rusty. Yeah. Got it. One big and bon appetit, Rusty. Thank you. Calvin Wright, living in a small life in a small town or something I did. Rusty, I've been to Capitan many times. Love it. Amigo, I know you do your own thing, but man, that's the place for your summer second home. Way more way more there way more there than Hillsborough. Just had to throw that out. No, you're right. It, it would be better than Hillsborough, but Hillsborough doesn't get as cold in the winter, but I, you know, again, I, I don't need a second home base, guys. That that was a that was one of my dreams, and I I I chased it as I chased my tail on that one as far as I wanted to. That one's kind of gone away. Uh, Melissa Sharp, and that much I don't know what my, this video was about. Don't even know how I came across your page, but I did. You are a trip. I'm guessing my dad will be like you in 15 to 20 years, uh, possibly. <clears throat> Tracy Phillips, RV, uh, camp, that's my campfire. Think that is the only, the, think that is the only the second time I noticed you made a fire. First was at your home base. Great video, Rusty. Yeah, I just got in the mood yesterday. I thought, hey, let's make a camp. I'm going to make, roast those, roast those weenies. Wieners. Weenies. Jeff, James Griffin, armed citizens know to avoid trouble at all costs. Even the fights won end up hurting. Yeah, you, you know, if you if you have to use a weapon, you're going to end up in the courthouse, and that's all there is to it. Do you have money to pay an attorney? I don't. Uh, Thomas Sutherland, I get, he says he gets catastrophic just thinking about it. It's living in the little guy. 
Thomas, it's claustrophobic, not catastrophic. <laughs> he says he loves standing up, get a high top van. Yeah, he, he gets catastrophic in it. <laughs> Okie dokie. <clears throat> I love that. Harold Living, so do, did y'all hook up? No, she's gone, I think. Uh, Super Evil C, very nice, thanks, you're welcome. Uh, Bob Warm on my fire, he goes, mmm, okay. Carl T, cute little trailer she has. Only thing I would prefer having in something like this is an indoor shower to go with the porta potty. Yeah, that would help, I think. Fred Getchy, thumbs up to you. Uh, Stanley Smith, there you go, Rusty. You both have something in common. Great interview. I keep wanting to ask what happened to her, her ex-husband. Well, I don't ask questions like that, Stanley Smith. Lori Van Hoosier, hello, Peggy. Just wanted to say hello and thank you for opening up your home sweet home for Rusty and the, his rangers to view. May you may your safe travels follow you always. Well, good. This is on Peggy again, Tom Quinlan. Peggy, I really like what you did with that metal. Delightful, your rig. You get this, Peg? Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, this is on the Gear Springs of Brutus Brutus. Have you ever been to Ute Lake, New Mexico? Uh, I probably have. Yeah, I just don't know. remember it right now. Uh, Hangfire 13, good advice, Rusty. You didn't make You didn't make to 73 by being stupid. Ha, ha. <laughs> well, I guess. Here's Dertrixa. He's got two. <clears throat> this is on the campfire. It says, no, 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 Wiener Wootskin, don't be roasted. Just put them into hot water for a campfire. You need German bratwurst and beer. Greetings from the bratwurst, brat, bratwurst land. Okay. And then he says on uh, Peggy, says, brave lady, greetings to German mouse from Germany. Okay. Thank you, Dertrixa. Sarah J., amen, you got it, Rusty about trusting your in instinct. Drinking young men or five couples on Harleys, do that 24-7, not just the weekend with that kind of deal. <clears throat> I think it is okay to report to local ranger. Well, you know, there is no local ranger at uh, Aguirre Springs. There's a camp host, and it's usually a retired couple. I didn't report anything to them because I didn't want them to go down there and get in trouble. <clears throat> this is P. Fifth. This is P-F-S-I-F. Snoozy took a snooze, okay? Uh, we got about five more guys, and we'll shut it down. Sarah J's got two of them. Just cute. You need to eliminate a lot and really watch the vids. I have ideas of what not is well-made often and a few brands that are, okay? Sarah J again. She is cool. Thanks for sharing. That's on Peggy's deal. Tracy Phillips here. Tracy Phillips says, another great interview, Rusty. Excellent job. Thank you. Thumbs up to you. Uh, little T08, congratulations on reaching 27,000 subscribers, Rusty. I remember when you first had 8,000 and now zooming up the mountain. Well, it's all you guys that do it. I don't subscribe to my own channel, but thank you very much. I remember when I got my first subscriber. <laughs> I mean, in one week after my first video, I think I had two subscribers. Yeah, it's it's a slow go, guys. So for you you that are thinking about starting a channel, <clears throat> you know you may get lucky and hit the hot spot, but I doubt it. Travel Hawk, interesting camper. That's on Peggy's deal. But anyway, guys, uh, hey Google, tell us a joke. Did you hear about the houses that fell in love? It was a long distance relationship. A lawn, L A W N, lawn distance. Thank you. Anyway. Thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye, bye, bye. Anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I do get a small commission. It does not cost you one penny. If you want to go to the extra effort, I appreciate it. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. What else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. That Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. So do that several times a day as you think of it. And then what else? Uh, stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, walk, walk. Exercise your body once or twice a day. You'll never regret that uh, because you'll feel better. You may live a little longer because of it. What else? 
Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, all those little neurons in there, and the little synapses, little lots of stuff going on in there. So if you put in good ingredients, you know you may form some good thoughts. Wouldn't that be nice? So having said that again, or yeah, again is right. Uh, having said that, uh, guys, uh, enjoy your day, enjoy your week, and uh, we'll talk again later about something. I hope. Uh, oh, I do. I have a video. I did a video of a guy in a, in a van. He did a van build, and I'll post that one today. I don't remember his name, but I'll do the video here later. And so, uh, anyway, carry on, ladies and gentlemen. Adios from uh, Oliver Lee State Park in New Mexico. Bye-bye.